Hi, this is Jeff Lesher, and I want to be the voice of season here, somebody who's been around the block a few times and maybe has learned a thing or two that would be useful for others. And here's something that I probably don't need to tell you, but I'll say anyway to set context, which is follow your parents' likely advice to you as a kid. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Or better in business and in life in general, if your instinct is to go negative, try to think of something positive. Now, there are those who occasionally criticize my video clips as being overly political because they reference things clearly in the popular view, which we can relate to and use as examples. And I would just say that the current circumstance where we've had a new uh, candidate introduced into the presidential election in a way, frankly, more consistent with the historical timing of these things than the years upon years of campaigning that typically has existed, it seems to have resulted in a short-term reaction on the other side of saying kind of mean, nasty, and uh, lacking in substance things. And I didn't have that reaction as much as a number of my more politically conservative friends who probably are inclined to vote for one candidate over another, but have reacted to and responded to with some disappointment that their preferred candidate is leveling all kinds of charges and saying things and saying things in a way that are more nasty than they are substantive, are less policy oriented than personal in their nature, and they don't like it. And I'm encouraged by that because I'm a believer in the overall willingness and ability of us to pursue common goals, even if we have different ways to pursue them. So in order to make our country great, great again, build it back better, build it, whatever the heck it is that we want to apply as a slogan, we agree that we want to live in a good place where we can have opportunity to make a good living and raise our kids in safety and send them to school and see them do better than we may have done in our lives. And so ought that not be the direction of the conversation? Which brings me fundamentally to the point, which is always about how to engage other people constructively and often in a business setting, which is think of what you want to accomplish. Think of what the person is doing that you agree with that is moving in that direction and have a conversation based on what you know they're able to do to understand how else they might pursue it in a way that if not yours, at least is likely to get you closer to that common destination. So it assumes that we are uh, pursuing similar outcomes. I don't think that that is a hugely out there presumption. And it gives us a way not only to constructively pursue that commonly desired outcome, but to do so in a way that helps us understand each other better and helps us even like each other better. And I hope that for most of us, that in fact is the point.